A question of character. Ryu lives for the fight. Ryu desires consistent physical contact through man, woman, or green man. Ryu has matured. His hair, once a vibrant strawberry red, has aged into a magnificent brown. The hue of conflict. Ryu does not desire flashy outfits or clothes. This is his clothes. A black belt exhibiting his tenured skill. A white gi displaying an immense amount of battle damage. No matter, Ryu wears the gi until it is more sleeveless. Ryu's initial white headband is no more. It is now a fighter's red. His training partner, Ken, has provided him this headband for focus. Thanks, now I have focus. Ryu has the elements of a magnificent fighter, mind of a champion, fists of of a brawler, feet of a vagrant. Ryu walks the land without his shiny red footwear. Ryu wishes to feel the earth unless he is not on the earth. Ryu is a frequent flyer. Ryu significantly balanced his attack. He no longer hops. He has widened his roundhouse and closed his mouth. His body has toned from his soft round muscles into concentrated steel skin. Ryu has mastered the fireball and changed its hue. It is now extraordinary blue, encasing the palms of a hero. It is a punching fireball. However, the impact is said to feel like a hard kick with lingering pain, similar to his hurricane kick. Its impact is said to feel like a hard kick with lingering pain. Ken, his rival, is equally matched in Shotokan karate skill. However, Ken possesses the element of fire within his heart. Ryu possesses the stillness of water, punched water. Ryu does not wash himself within the waterfall. Ryu duels against the waterfall. The waterfall continues its attack. Ryu repels the water, reversing its stream. Balance. Ryu loves water because it is his astrological element. Ryu is a cancer, a tenacious and emotional man, able to empathize with others' pain and suffering. Therefore, when Ryu punches someone and they vomit, he thinks to himself, I agree. Balance. He will invite his enemies to the rooftops of his training dojo. The abandoned Suzaku Castle, adorned with a sign displaying the elements required of a fighter from Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Wind. Forced. Fire. Mountain. Looks like Sun Tzu forgot water. Ryu did not. Liquid punch! Ryu provides counsel to the enemies he has beaten, telling them that they must defeat his dragon punch to stand a chance. An entirely true statement. Ryu's dragon punch dominates the physical manifestation of a human punch that has turned into a dragon or the punch of a talented dragon boxer. Either way, it hurts. Ryu has a bird-like bust, a lean 31-inch waist, and generous hips, an excellent street-fighting figure, possessing all of the requirements necessary to fight Sagat, his arch-enemy, unlike Ken, his arch-friend. Sagat has returned, bearing a scar from their previous matchup, wielding his own branded uppercut based upon the dragon's mortal enemy, the tiger. May the superior animal fist decide their fate. Finally, Ryu faces the tyrant of Thailand, M. Bison, ultimately defeating him and causing him to vanish without a trace for a couple of minutes as the official Street Fighter Bunny Girl presents Ryu's trophy. Ryu vanishes without a trace. Ryu cares none of trophies or bunny girls. Ryu cares only of walking the road to the next fight. Even if the fight is not human and is water, Ryu loves punching water. Balance. Next episode, slow down, son.
you're killing them. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Ah, oh, character.